today I am going to explain uh, what is crank Nicholson method and how we solve one dimensional heat equation using this method. This is so much easy and easily you can do. Uh, just follow some steps. So uh, actually one dimensional heat equation is. Del square u by del x square is equal to a del u over del t. OK, where u re represent temperature, x represent length and t represent time. Actually, this one happened during a diffusion in a rod type problem. So you represent temperature of that rod and x represent length of the rod and t represent time means at that time what will be the temperature? That type of things we have to calculate. But when we solve that one by numerically, then you have to follow some steps. Using exact technique, we are solving a base by separation of variable method. Now, using this, whatever equation given, just compare with this and find out a value that you can do easily. Now, in next step, I will take one question and I will explain the procedure. So that you feel easy. So suppose the question is. Find. U X comma T. For. the equation del square u by del x square is equal to 1 by 4 del u by del t under the boundary condition given with the given boundary condition and boundary condition are u 0 t is equal to 0. u 8 comma t is equal to 0 and u x comma 0 is equal to 1 by 2 x 8 minus x. With the h value. Suppose 2 given. Or 1. H value 2 given. So this is the question uh, which we are going to solve using crank Nicholson method. So first of all, I will explain how we solve. So see, whatever given boundary condition, just write in terms of X and T. So what is first boundary condition given? U zero T is equal to zero. It means C. This is X value and right hand side value always represent T value. So when X value zero, what is T value? Zero. Correct. When x value 8, 
What is the value? Zero. And uh, what is when x value x? What is t value? 1 by 2 x 8 minus x. Okay. Here h given to and once h given we have to calculate the k value. And what is k value? K value means increment in t. At same like h is increment in x. So k is increment in t. What is k? k is a h square. So what is a value? a value is a value is how much? What is a given? 1 by 4. Coefficient of del u by del t. So 1 by 4. And what is h value? h value given 2. So 2 square means 4. So it means k value also 1. So what is the increment in t? k. So always once h given, calculate k value and write the boundary condition whatever given in this form. Once you return this one, then your half part, not half part, 1 by 4th part is over. Now make the table. So here x and here t. So, so row represent x and a column represent t here. So what is x starting value? See, it is starts from 0 and end where? It starts from 0 and ends where? t. What is the increment? 2. So right? What is first value? x value 0. Then 2. Then 4. Then 6. And then x value 8. Now t values we write t value starting with 0 only. And goes up to what? That is the one question. Actually, when in exam they ask you to go for one step. One step means see that t value starting is zero. Next value is what? What is the increment one? So one. So if they ask you to go for two step, so right here, next t value. If they ask you to go only for one step, then only up to one. So it's depend on the quotient. So actually when you go for two step, one step you have to solve. So I'm going to go, I'm going to solve for two step only. So definitely one step must be there. So how we solve, how we write the table? See, is given boundary condition. What is the first boundary condition given? When x 0, t value always 0. So x value 0, so what is t value? Represent column always 0. When x value 8, that is also given 0 only, t value. Correct? Now for remaining value.
So when x value how much? Zero. T value zero. When x value two, what is t value? X value two. Then what is t value? T is one by two x eight minus x. So x two means when x value two, what we get? Two two cancel eight minus two six. When x value four, two x value four means so two into eight minus four eight. X value six, six means three six. That's all. Now, this value we have to calculate. For a starting value we written. Now, for one and two we are going to calculate, and how I am going to explain. Understand? So, first t values, first row t values we can calculate using given boundary condition. Now, remaining t value we are going to calculate. So, how we calculate? Suppose this value is your a, this is your b. This is your C. So first we are going to our A1, B1, C1. We are going to calculate first A1, B1, C1. How we calculate? Always C. Always it depends on left right hand rule. Left hand right hand rule means C. It's very simple. Means suppose A1 we want to calculate. So A1 is equal to take this type always left, right, first diagonal, second diagonal, not above one and down one. So left, right, left diagonal, upper diagonal. And average. Average means it is 1 by 4. 0 plus B. Left is 0, right is B. Plus 0 plus 8. So, what is the equation it will form? It will form 4A1 minus B is equal to 8. Equation number 1. Similarly, what about B1? B1 is equal to 1 by 4. Same rule. Always follow same rule. So what is B1? A1 plus C1 plus 6 plus 6. What is that? A1 plus C1 plus 6 plus 6. So it will be 4B1. 4B1 minus A1 minus C1 is equal to 12. Equation number second. Similarly, what is C1? C1 means B1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0. Correct? 1 by 4. B1 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0. Correct? So this is so much easy. 0, right, B1, then 8, then 0. So what is the value? 4 C1 minus B1 minus is equal to 8. Equation number 3. Now we have three equation solve. One, two, and three. We get what? A one, B one, C one values. We will get. Once you solve these three questions by any method, 
you will get a1 b1 c1 values and once we get a1 b1 c1 we go for what a2 b2 c2 by same method means left plus right plus this plus this because already we have a1 b1 c1 value so it's easy to calculate so first uh, simplify this one and uh, you can simplify by calculator. So hope you understand. Uh, once you get A1, B1, C1, just calculate, apply the same rule. Because for A2, what for second step, A2, how we calculate? A2 is equal to 1 by 4, 0 plus B1 plus 0 plus B2. Similarly, for B2, you write, absolutely for C2. Once you retain all, solve it. You will get A2, B2, C2 that's all this is the procedure how we solve a boundary value problem means one dimensional heat equation using crank nicholson method sorry uh, uh, because of uh, video will not become so much uh, lengthy that's why i stop i will i'm going to stop here and because i know you can solve easily and similarly you can go for two step method Okay, again, if you have any doubt, please feel free to put in message. Thank you.